Hi, welcome to another grilling episode, Real Food for the Soul. Who says you need sun to grill? We're grilling out here with no sun and we're still having a wonderful time. Today we're going to make grilled filet mignon tenderloins with the chocolate barbecue sauce. Doesn't that sound great? So I have a pot heating up on the grill. I'm gonna do the sauce right on the grill. To it, I'm going to add some canola oil and I'm gonna add some chopped up onion, very fine, as fine as you can get it, and about two cloves of garlic. Now you wanna let this cook until they're clear and the garlic isn't burned, but the onions are nice and soft. Once that's happened, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our barbecue sauce ingredients. Let me bring this over this way. So to the barbecue sauce, we're now going to add a little bit of salt. I have sea salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, always fresh cracked. And in here, I have coriander, smoked paprika, cumin, and cinnamon. Cinnamon is a trick something people don't expect in a barbecue sauce. Add that all together. You wanna to do this on top of the heat. Then go ahead and add in your cocoa, 100% pure cocoa. It's about a tablespoon. Mix that up. And we will go ahead and add our tomato sauce. Now I'm using tomato sauce and not ketchup because I think it adds a little bit of a fresher taste and it allows you to make it as sweet as you like. Stir that with the rest of your ingredients and go ahead and add your packed brown sugar. I have golden brown sugar here. That's what's going to bring the sweetness into your barbecue sauce. You can already see the color starting to change and it's barely even cooking over here. So to that, we are also going to add coffee. The chocolate in the coffee adds a very nice flavor to the barbecue sauce. And it's something different. It's so simple. You really don't need to buy bottled barbecue sauce ever again. So we're going to add our coffee, and that's freshly brewed dark roast coffee. Coffee of your choice is fine, but you want to get something that's pretty strong. We're going to stir that, and we're going to also add about a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Most barbecue sauce recipes call for apple cider vinegar, but I like red wine vinegar. Give it a little bit of a bite, a little bit of something different. We are also going to add some mustard. I have spicy mustard. And about a quarter of a cup of molasses. Molasses is key. Not only does it give it the color, it really brings out the sweetness in it. And mixed with the cumin, it really gives a great barbecue flavor. And last but not least, we are going to add Worcestershire sauce. Just get a little bit of that in there. That'll help give it some tang. You know, it always has that little bite when you add Worcestershire sauce. And you can see the wonderful color that has. And you're gonna let this simmer for about 25 minutes until it's reduced by about half. And it keeps for a week. It's a great sauce. Now, to get started on our filet mignon, we are going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to both sides. You always want to make sure that your steak is well seasoned. Now, people always do tri-tip and burgers, but do something else. And to save a little money and make it stretch, just go ahead and cut your filet mignon in half like I did. So these are two pieces. I got four pieces out of two. A little bit of pepper. And you want to oil your grill. I like to pat my seasonings in. Make sure the flavor is all in there. I forgot to put pepper on that side. Okay. Now we're gonna take this over to our grill, which is nice and hot and ready for us. You can hear that sizzle. And the good thing about the medallions also is they do not take a long time to cook. Once they're on the grill, we're gonna close the lid and let them cook for about five to seven minutes if you like it medium. After your sauce has reduced for about 25 minutes, it will come out a beautiful chocolate red brown like this. Let's get our filet mignon off the grill. Our tenderloins are nice and juicy. And just enough for your barbecue. That looks wonderful. 
go ahead and take some of this delicious sauce and just drizzle it right across the top. Put some in a bowl so your guests can have a little bit extra on their plate. Filet mignon tenderloins with the chocolate barbecue sauce. Not your everyday sauce, nice and homemade, just from you.